if it's not resonating with any of the audience, right? Chances are your ad sucks. Yeah. Weezy, I So you're trying to figure out why you're not getting results with your paid advertisement. Listen, I get it, I was there. I remember a long time ago when I first got into paid advertisement, I used to run these campaigns and I used to try to run Facebook ads and all these other different ads platforms. And I couldn't understand why I wasn't getting results. And it used to frustrate me because I knew that it worked, right? I saw all these other people getting results online and I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? And after testing and asking the people who were crushing it online and seeing what exactly they were doing to get results, I finally cracked the code. And it's two simple secrets that's gonna go ahead and determine whether or not you're gonna be successful when it comes to paid advertising. I just got my haircut, I know I'm looking fresh, right? So I decided to shoot this quick little video. But what are the two things? Number one is optimization. You're not optimizing enough. You're literally setting up one variation and expecting for that ad to succeed. Let me explain. So the average marketer, right, who sets up a new marketing campaign usually creates anywhere from 10 to 20 different campaigns. And I'm talking about successful marketers, right? People who set themselves aside from those people who really aren't getting any results, right? So how many variations, how many different variations are you split testing, right? At the end of the day, you need to figure out, okay, let me go ahead and try to hit people from different angles, different marketing angles. So two ways that you can do that is literally the audience that you're split testing. So sending your advertisement in front of different audiences, see which ones actually are going to engage and take action on what it is that you're offering. And number two is the actual advert, the advertisement material. If it's not resonating with any of the the um, the audience, right? Chances are your ad sucks, right? So you need to create different ads. So start to split test your different ads. See which one is the best performing audience, and then what you can do is start actually split testing your ads. Now, secret number two is knowing your numbers, knowing your analytics. If you don't know how much you need a lead for, or if you don't know how much you need to click for, or if you don't even know the, the basic terminology of marketing like click-through rate and um, CPM or what an impression is or what reach is or what the cost per click or what a unique visitor is. If you don't know this stuff, right, know your basic marketing terminology. If you're literally just saying, okay, I'm getting clicks pretty low, I think, and you're not getting results, guys, right? You, you, you can't. You can't get results if you don't know this terminology. And once you actually know this terminology, you need to start making data-driven decisions. That is, the, that is the key to success. Once you start running paid ads and you start knowing your numbers and you start knowing an example, your long-term value or what a customer is worth to you, then you can start actually um, trying to actually accomplish getting that customer for that, that amount, right? Meaning if a customer is worth 50 to $100, I need to make sure I spend less than $50 to $100 to actually acquire that customer. And the way I do that is literally looking and analyzing my ads, right? Kill the losers, scale the winners, right? The ones that are winning and the ones that are profitable, you're literally gonna go ahead and spend more. Here's another little trick. Instead of spending more on that winning ad, duplicate that ad, and basically, the lower you're spending per ad, let's just say, if I have a $10 ad that's actually performing pretty well, instead of spending $100 on that ad, what I'll do is duplicate that 10 times to start spending 100 and most likely you'll get better results. So hopefully you gain value from those tips. If you guys are looking for an affiliate offer that actually converts with paid advertisement, there's gonna be links down below, there's gonna be a button down below, see what I'm actually promoting as a six-figure affiliate, right? So hopefully you gain value. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it short, sweet, simple, to the point. Stay tuned for future valuable content. And your boy, Eric Ellis Jr., checking out. Yeah.